Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento's Basics tutorial, you're going to be learning how to set the Magento cost attribute to show on all product types. Now, Magento out of the box comes with an attribute for storing cost prices. But as you guessed it, there is a however. <laughs> there is. And that's because this attribute is not enabled by default for all product types. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to set this attribute for all product types in Magento. Woohoo! So with that said, let's go and do this. So Dave, we need to go and find the cost attribute in Magento, and we can find that by going to Catalog, Attributes, and then Manage Attributes. Seems like a central place to keep your attributes. Indeed. <laughs> now to find the cost attribute, where it says Attribute Label, type in Cost, and then press enter on your keyboard. Now, of course, you could have pressed search on the right hand side. And if you want to reset this search, press reset filter. Now to edit this attribute, just click anywhere on this row. Now, Dave, let me just scroll this screen down and we'll see that Magento out of the box for the cost attribute has it set to apply to. And then if we scroll down, can you see it's only been set for virtual and downloadable product types? Yeah. Now, of course, we know many businesses which want to store cost prices on simple or configurable or even bundle products. Now, rather than selecting these individually, a much simpler way is where it says select product types. Drop this box down and choose all product types and then press save attribute in the top right hand corner. Dave, that's it. That's our attribute updated. Well, that was nice and easy. And, and just to clarify this, Matt, by making sure that cost attribute is available for simple and configurable and basically all the products in Magento, does that make it much easier for us to now assign a cost price as well as a sell price so we can manage profitability a little bit easier? It does indeed. In fact, why don't we go and have a look at a product, we'll pick a simple product, and see where that attribute is hiding on that record. So if we go to Catalog and then Manage Products, and let's choose a simple product, Aha, uh -huh, there's one there. So let's click into this product. Then on the left hand side where it says prices, we'll now see that we've got the cost attribute there. And because it's available on simple or all the product types in Magento, that also means that we can import our cost prices onto any product type now in Magento. And of course, you're right, that does mean that you can now use that value to run your own profitability reports in or outside of Magento. Does that make sense, Dave? Absolutely. Excellent. So for myself, Matt. And for me, Dave. Cheerios. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.